Good evening, young friend Jim. What brings you out so late tonight? You remember, of course, the old captain whom you treated just last night at the Benbow Inn? Today, an old blind beggar came and gave him a black spot. The captain raged and fell dead just after the blind man left. Then later, the man came back with a band of pirates, and they tore the inn apart. Oh, dear. They weren't looking for money, were they? No, Doctor. It wasn't that. I have what they wanted. Here it is. Aha. Let's see what we have here. It's a map. Hmm. Well, now, let's have a look. Don't say. Spyglass shoulder. Hmm. Skeleton island. Ten feet to the north, and then we're... Hmm. <laughs> Excellent. This map belonged to Captain Flint, the bloodthirstiest buccaneer that ever sailed. And it clearly shows where the pirate Flint has hid his vast treasure. <laughs> Dr. Livesey, tomorrow I'm going to Bristol. And in three weeks, no better yet in two. No, 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 no. In ten days' time, you shall have a ship and the best crew in England at your disposal. You, Livesey, shall be ship surgeon, and I will acquire the title of Admiral. Young Hawkins will make a first-rate cabin boy. And when we find Captain Flint's treasure, we'll be up to our ears in money. We'll be swimming, and I do not say this lightly, in a sea of gold. Quite literally, an ocean of it. Trelawney, my good squire, I will jump aboard for your grand adventure in an instant, but for one person involved whom I don't completely trust. Who? Oh, tell me who that no-good scoundrel might be, my friend. You, Trelawney, your involvement makes me fear the worst. Loose lips do sink ships. Livesey, I give you my word of honor as a gentleman. My lips are sealed. Aha, that is all I needed to hear. To Bristol, then, my dear friends.